there are certain days where I catch myself feeling more tired than usual. And this has prompted me to just do a little bit of digging, digging up and to see how and why this is so. Because I bet even for some of you watching this, it may be a little bit annoying whenever you try and get work done, the tiredness kicks in. And you may notice this whenever you have like a particular task that either takes a long time to complete, it's a boring task, immediately your brain goes into like that tired mode that switches into like you feeling tired. And this has prompted me to not only think of tiredness as a physiological thing, but also a psychological thing. Just like how you experience different changes in your body um, with certain emotions, like say butterflies in the stomach whenever you feel nervous, for example. And tiredness is also one thing that can correlate to how you feel it as well. And I did a bit of digging and I found that whenever we are placed in a situation where whatever activity or, activity or task that we're doing involves a lot of effort, a, involves a lot of time, it's a long-term kind of task to complete. It's not going to be easy to get there and it gives you that doubt, that self-doubt of whether you can actually complete it or not. So then it's trying to save and conserve your energy as best as it can to just like shut down by making you feel tired. So in a way, it's like an adaptive mechanism that your brain kind of creates in order for you to avoid doing all this tough task that you have to do. So one of the things that I started to implement for myself is to actually try and notice all these different scenarios in which I suddenly become tired when I have all these different tasks that I have to do. And noting them down, either in your notepad or your journal, so that you can spot these patterns for yourself and work towards how you can tweak the way you think and the perspectives of how you approach this, these certain tasks. And I would question myself, if I were to complete these, these tasks that I have, how would I feel after that? In a way, it's like incentivizing myself to see like, okay, at the end of this task, within the day that I completed, will I have achieved something out of it? Do I feel that sense of accomplishment? Or is it still the same state of where I'll be? Which leads me to my next point, which will be to plan out these tasks that you have in smaller chunks. Divide them up so that you can celebrate these small wins in between and have this sense of achievement whenever you have completed your task for the day. And not look at it as something, if I were to have a big goal, and I want to achieve that big, big goal, it would have to take me months to complete or even years to complete like a degree. If I don't divide this up into small chunks of tasks within the day that I can be proud of, it'll be kind of like a delayed gratification for that long-term goal that you have set up for yourself, which then will lead to that tiredness because then in a way you're also feeling bored. And so what I would suggest is to actually divide it up into all those small accomplishments that you can achieve within the day, within the week, so you can avoid feeling overwhelmed by the entire process. One thing to take note as well is if I do feel disincentivized by even the smaller kind of tasks, then that's something that I have to address and have to understand why I'm doing it in the first place and whether there's another way around it to allow myself to think of it from a different perspective. Now, every situation is going to be different. The way you complete a task, the different activities, different goals, so on and so forth. So it's really up to you to try and do a little bit of introspection about finding out the root of why you are feeling that way. And this could be a good thing as well because then you can allow yourself to understand more about yourself. Because I know for me, for certain things and for certain goals that I want to achieve, Sometimes it's rooted in insecurity. For example, earlier in my training days, I wanted to look good because always afraid of people looking down on me and always thought that I had to push myself so that I can make sure that I can be outstanding and 
you know, I will never be bullied again or looked down ever again. Once I dug into that and started to shift my perspective on life and my approach to how I do things, I started to find a more refreshing outlook on the things that I do. So I hope that this sharing can come in a little bit more insightful for you to think about what makes you feel tired and if it, and if you feel tired all the time or more than usual, then that's something to look inwards, see if you can find what you can dig out to kind of tweak your perspectives on certain areas of your life to allow you to live more fully and happily. So if there's any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like this piece of content, do feel free to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.